Three victories in one night to win prize fight to the light middleweight. He's growing in confidence and hitting with more authority. Taking on Mihaly Kotai. Looks like a decent test. He's from Hungary. Won and lost on British soil before. He's been a pro since 2000. We can join this from round two. The long white trunks with the blue and white boots of the tall, spidery Prince Aaron from Drolson just outside Manchester. And the red, as always, of Mihaly Kotai. Yeah, that was like a blatant head, but there, I think the referee's entitled. Yep, I mean, that, that was a uh, bang out of order. Yep, quite right. Uh, sometimes you need a warning, sometimes you need uh, the referee to act immediately. Because that was bang out of order. So. Michael Alexander does a point taken off for Kotai right at the start of the second round. I mean, Kotai is going to have to knock Aaron out of his rhythm, obviously, you, you can't fault him for that, but <laughs> you have to do it within the rules. And that was nowhere near the rules, the headbutt there. Shows how frustrated he's been after just one round against Aaron, who stands at six foot three. And it's so difficult to get inside, you really need power. Kotai's got 16 knockouts in his 36 wins. Trying to get the right hand flowing, but having difficulties. So he seems to dip a little bit before he throws the punches, and I think Aaron knows exactly when they're coming. So he takes that little half step back, then back in again with the counter. So timing his moves nicely, Aaron. 12 years older, Kotai reflexes, not quite what they once were. On his first 24 fights, he was a bit of attraction over here, the Hungarian. Kept coming back and performing in front of us. Steve Conway, though, dealt with him a couple of times, the Jewsbury Southpaw slick boxer. And that's what Aaron is, a slickster. Yeah, but he's picked his tactics perfectly, not getting involved. The crowd are happy with what they're seeing. He's picking this fellow off at will. At times here, there's the uppercut working too against this kind of opponent who trundles forward taking chances, the uppercut is the peach punch. Well, the fan club has grown for the scaffolder, Prince Aaron, since he won prize fighter. That was a uh, tremendous showcase for him. Tough field at light middleweight. And he might be uh, on the verge of Moving into the British title picture pretty soon. Sam Webby with Martin Conception for the domestic 11 stone belt in a few weeks coming up in London on Sky. Good uppercut again from Aaron. You know, I saw a couple of times Aaron getting ready to throw the punch, then just changing his mind at the last second because he knew the time wasn't right. You can see he's thinking what he's doing. Not making any mistakes, but punishing everyone that Kotai makes. An awkward night's work for anyone, really, Prince Aaron. Frighteningly tall for the weight, and so difficult to catch cleanly. Yep, 10 8 round for Aaron. Second down, round four. Fourth round in the light middleweight division. 11 stone, it's the red trunk to the left of your screens of Mihaly Kotai, the experienced Hungarian from the stunning city of Budapest. In with Prince Aaron, one of our uh, real finds of the last year or two. Manchester United fan, nice guy, character, and his confidence is uh, growing and growing each time he enters a boxing ring, because I think that was a problem with him early doors, Jim. I saw a few of his novice fights, and, and that seemed to be that lack of belief, a real issue. Well, he was overmatched a couple of times, you've mentioned that. Uh, and that takes your confidence away, you know, stoppage defeats, you, know, you think it's your fault, it's not your fault, it's the matches you shouldn't have been in. But he's gained a lot of confidence, the prize fighter night was a great night for him, and he's just taken his career on from there. You need to feel confident when you're in there, and at uh, long last, he's feeling that. And the talent he has now, he can make full use of it. Truth without fear on the back of his 
long white trunks also tattooed on his neck for Prince Aaron, real name Aaron Jones, but he thought that was dull, so he went with a prince. Very different to Prince Nassim Hamad, isn't he? Not quite the same fighter. No, he's not. He's not. Uh, I see. I think it's maybe a time now to put punches together. He's popping some nice right hands, some jabs. But Kota is experienced and he knows the fight is slipping away from him, so he's going to have a charge now. So just maybe rat a tat punches now, three and four. Exactly like that. Then he managed two stoppage wins in his four and a half year career, Prince Aaron, over the same opponent, Tony Randell. Lovely uppercut in four rounds. Beat Randell in Burton and in six last time out at the York Hall Bethnal Green. Left hook nearly takes Kotai off his feet there. Right. See, that's exactly what I mean. If he just puts punches together, then Kotai cannot get the counters off. And it's single shots. Kotai is able to come back with something. Pretty hard sort, though. Kotai. It's more of a defensive mission, though, now for the Hungarian. Nothing is working, nothing flowing, and he's, get, he's getting more and more frustrated with himself. We don't want another headbutt like we had earlier. Well, even at his best, uh, there was nothing really subtle about Kotai. But he just can't fathom out the, the reach of the movement from Aaron. I think this is a mightily impressive night's work for Prince Aaron. Let's go, let's go to the when you do that, bang, yes, he's landing with the punches pretty much at will. That's, that's why I feel it's time now to put them together. And uh, the fans will enjoy it. And uh, just exactly like that, uh, don't give this fellow a chance to come back with anything. But it's a sensible night's work for him. The fans are enjoying it, so stick with what you're doing. And it back here with your hands, isn't it? Feel them legs. Got so much power, haven't you? Use it. Come on, show me your man now. You've got so much power. Use it, says Bob Shannon to Prince Aaron, obviously they've been working in that department in the gym, it's a, uh, a bustling one at the moment with Matthew Hatton holding the European welterweight title and Denton Vassell, the Commonwealth King. It's been around a long time, Bob Shannon, and it's good that success is coming to him and his camp. Yeah, but he thoroughly deserves it, he lives for the sport, to one of the, the many people in boxing who put in a lot more than they take back out again. So he wants Arden to use a bit more power, so to do that he's going to have to step in with the punches as opposed to the long range shots he's been throwing. I wonder, I mean this looks like going the distance, so as long as he's winning it clearly, stepping in there you start worrying about heads clashing, there you go, just doing as he pleases there. Cute upper guts, just trying to put his weight on the front foot, more Prince Aaron. Doesn't need to blast his way through the Hello Kotai because everything is going swimmingly at the moment. And he's brought some fans the short distance from Manchester as well. Nice story, isn't it, Prince Aaron's? Yeah, it's a terrific story. I mean, he, he took his bumps and then just went back, carried on with the job. Now he's ripping some of the walls, getting the praise. And that's lovely. Just just perfect now, he's just putting the punches together, putting on a show. Everybody is enjoying it. He's dealing with a tough 10-year pro who's only been beaten four times, remember, in 41 appearances. This is a good European-type operator and Prince Aaron is outclassing him completely. And a lovely shot and it just for a moment looked like Kotai might tumble but he did he stuck with it the first i thought he was hurt but i think what i did is stopped him in his tracks from throwing his own punch i think he was set to throw a punch and that stopped him in his tracks and that's just out of the balance 
He held himself over there. Kotak looks at his corner. He's just having a nightmare in there, trying to fathom out Prince Aaron. Looks down at you at ringside, Jim, as if to say, what do I do next? Yeah, looking down at me, I think, wishing it was a tag match. I think that's who he's thinking, maybe my turn to move up there. No, thank you. Back behind his jab, Prince Aaron. The tool that has worked so well for him over the last year and a half, and the weapon that got him the cash prize and the acclaim of being the 10th prize fighter champion we've got another prize fighter coming up in a couple of weeks time the heavyweights on the 9th of october back at york hall where aaron was successful it's a good stepping stone isn't it for these fighters yeah but it's been proven several times the, how the, the play fighter brings them on but another round for Aaron and there, the fans are happy. Just carry on what you're doing. Everybody will go home happy tonight. You've got it in you to do it. Apart I mean, from Team Kotai. That's right, Mel. You know, I don't know why, you know, you sometimes you, you, you look great and then all of a sudden you just... No, you just again. Yeah. yeah, but when, when you're doing that... Just disheartened, Meheli Kotai, not knowing what to do. Well, uh, Bob Shannon in the corner, not entirely happy. He still feels uh, he could be producing more than he is doing, so he must really be doing some sparkling stuff in the gymnasium. Because I think it's been pretty good tonight. And the stats, I think, are underlining that opinion. Very wide margin. He's won everything here, Prince Aaron. He's looked sharp, smart, and really good. Final session. Prince Aaron aiming for his 20th win and unbeaten going back to 2007. I guess the question is now with Sam Webb and Martin Conception about to go to battle for the British title, when's Prince Aaron going to get his opportunity? I don't think they'd want to choose him as a voluntary. He might have to get into that position of mandatory. Yeah, well, I always liked it to feel a young man is fully prepared when he starts chasing major titles, major domestic titles. And uh, it's difficult to tell tonight. I mean, he's got things under control pretty quickly and he kept them there. So maybe the, the eliminator route, you know, put him in the you know, championship eliminator, see how he copes with the occasion. We have to remember he's only 22, his career's flying at the moment. But uh, a couple of times we've seen young fighters just step beyond the stage that they're at at the moment and then fall flat. I don't see him doing that, but I wouldn't be in any rush. Oh, lovely shot! Beautiful from Prince Aaron, and maybe he's going to get the knockout in the sixth round like he did last time out of Mihaly Kotai in all sorts of bother. And there's a long, long time left in the round and Michael Alexander says no more. It's a wonderful finish to a great night's work from Prince Aaron who holds the Haile Kotai in the final round and no one's done that to Kotai well Bob Shannon in the corner at the end of the previous round was asking for more from Aaron I couldn't work out why <laughs> now I can I know exactly hey, Bob Shannon knew he was capable of the stoppage and he delivered that so there's another thing he can box the instructions do what he's told and what that, that was a tremendous finish to a perfect night's work now just beautiful shot that's the uppercut for the the opponent coming straight towards you with the cut guard bang and look at his legs all over the place and what's the point allowing him to box on he's lost every round the referee who's keeping the score knows that so he got him out of there but what a beautiful punch didn't see that one coming I didn't see it, Kotai didn't see it, and as I say, perfect ending to an excellent night's work. Terrific win for Prince Aaron, probably his best yet. He is flying. Prince Aaron, it's amazing how much a prize fight.